You know, whether you're a musky fisherman, a saltwater fisherman, a big bait fisherman for bass, the casting mechanics are all the same. When I'm targeting open water or big flats or a big submerged hump where casting distance is crucial, I utilize a kind of a pendulum style cast I've adopted from growing up in the saltwater scene in Southern California. It's really utilizing the rod and a pendulum motion to really send that bait as far out there as I can. And it's really important when I make that pendulum cast to follow through so that momentum carries into the bait and the cast itself. You wanna end with the rod parallel with the surface of the water. You're gonna get the longest distance possible from that style of cast. You know, if I'm running down a particular stretch of bank and I'm fishing, you know, shoreline cover like these pencil reeds or a grass edge or, you know, overhanging brush, I'm approaching it a little bit differently. The casts are a little bit more accurate and the sidearm roll cast is my preferred method because it can be very concise and you can place that bait in a small pocket in the reeds here, you know, or in a hole in a weed patch or if there's a lane. Uh, you know, on an overhang or uh, a sunken tree. And it, it's actually really easy on the body. You know, you just wind it up to about a foot of the rod tip and it's, it's like roll casting a spinnerbait or a square bill. It's the same thing. Boom, I can put it right on the edge, put it, put it on a dime. Now, skipping a big plastic bait like this can be a lot of fun and very effective because now you're putting a giant bait in a place they probably haven't seen it before. And it's really the only way to present a giant bait like this under docks, under an overhanging tree like this, where an overhand or even a sidearm cast wouldn't work. It takes a little bit of confidence, a low release point, but skipping these big baits can be very productive.